hello there. Santa here. The scout elves told me that you wanted to see how my human friends helped me tell the story of our elf pet's reindeer. A little behind the scenes peek, as they say. The story always starts with a script. Hey guys, look at this. It's a book. Sweet. Those are my good friends Shanda, Amy, Joe, and Lane going over the script that Shanda wrote for me. They go over every detail of the story. Can you believe they even tried the Samiaki? Mm hmm. See if it gets any better. Oh no, it gets worse. Okay. I just licked it. Give him a good <laughs> well, the Pico deer like it. Shanda and I had lots of talks from the North Pole about how to tell this very important story. This time it's Lena's story of how she met those cute little Pico deer and how they grew to have very special jobs at the North Pole. Grew. Get it? <laughs> I crack myself up. <clears throat> Let me back up a little bit. After the script is finalized, Shanda and Amy cast for the human roles. Oh, <laughs> of course, the scout elves and I play ourselves. Manny here auditioned and got the role of Benjamin and is quite the singer. We're gonna have s'mores. We're gonna have s'mores. Melted chocolate yumminess. Wait for We're it. We're gonna have s'mores. Oh, <laughs> that gets me every time. Speaking of s'mores, the little girl who played Julia, her name is Olivia. She invented the name Snorms. I'm naming mine Snorms. Don't you mean s'mores? I think Snorms is a perfectly good name. Me too. Moving on, here are the artists and animators working hard to make sure the Scout Elves and I look just as we are. This is us in 2D, and here we are in 3D. We look pretty good, huh? Here are some elves you met for the very first time. Coach Jim Dandy. The training could be rigorous. <laughs> He's quite the character. And the elf who makes sure reporting to me goes smoothly at the Grand Hall. Santa would like to thank Scout Elf Tinsel and Scout Elf Timber for their final report this season. Scout Elf William Walker III is so busy that our animation director, Lane Force, filled in for him. He will now see Scout Elves Captain, Blubberfizz, and Candy Cane for their last reports. Sounds just like him, doesn't he? Well, apparently, all this hard work causes muscle tension for humans. All of that hard work paid off, though. Look at the Pura family cottages and Lena's colorful clothes. They tell me they based them on what you would have seen in Lapland during that time. They really made her journal come to life, didn't they? And that Scout Elf boardwalk at the Grand Hall. They really captured everything that our elves get to do before flying back to your home. Sliding down the slides, exchanging their props, getting their hats cleaned. Sometimes there is cinnamon, cereal, or chimney soot all over them. They get to have all kinds of fun. There are lots of different places at the Grand Hall that all had to come together. The takeoff platform, the boardwalk, the lazy river. It took months to recreate it just as it is. General really catches some air there. And those experiments with the Piku deer, some of them you didn't get to see. There were jetpacks, a growth ray, and even a Trojan reindeer. Probably best we didn't show how those turned out. <clears throat> that Pico deer stable is much bigger than what you see here. Look at all these fun ideas of what to show during the reindeer stomp. The idea was that all those things you find in the stable are the instruments in the song. And oh, there's my crash landing at the Grand Hall. It all happened so fast, but it took a long time to show just how those reindeer skidded to a stop in front of the Barry Topiary. 
I love the snow, but these guys say working on snow special effects can be a slippery slope. And gold dust special effects? Pretty tough. New characters, beautiful environments, fun props, add in a musical number, or five, and you get a glimpse into my kingdom of the one true north and how the Piku deer became elf pets. Well, that's a wrap. Wrap? Wrapping paper? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs>